Hi everyone, welcome back to another mukbang. Today I'm back with some seafood. Yum. So I have a uh, mar spicy marinated raw blue crabs. And this is gomak muchim. These are also known as blood clams, I believe. They are kind of on the bigger side. And their shells look like duis. And I topped it with some spicy sauce that I made at home. There will be recipe in the description box. Like, I don't remember the last time I had it, and I'm not really sure exactly how it's supposed to taste like. I just followed a, followed a recipe online, to be completely honest. And I have uh, roasted seaweed paper. I have my sparkling water. This is the brand that Tong and I have been uh, buying recently. It's Pure Aqua Belle V sparkling water um, I get we get this from LDs and these are just as good to be honest and obviously they're much 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 affordable more affordable Whew. and of course I have a lot of rice because this right here and this right here, you need a lot of rice. It's another rice leaf. Oh boy, I'm hungry. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna just grab some rice. Let's just start with that much. Let's start with the clams. I know. Mmm. 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 Oh my god, I'm gonna eat so much rice today. Mmm. Oh my gosh, <clears throat> this one was fat. Mm. 
My God, this is so good with the seaweed paper. I did add some homegrown peppers in here, and these are spicy. Oh my gosh. Show you guys. Mm. Oh. That rice. And grab the meat. Oh my goodness. I think that's. I'm gonna add another on top like this. Mmm. 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 Oh, it's a big one right here. Oh, this is a lot more than I thought. Mmm. 
Now I've been talking so much in my recent mukbang videos. I think once in a while, quiet videos like this won't hurt. <laughs> and actually, Tom was supposed to film with me today, but he got he had to go to work for. So the restaurant that he got hired to. It is opening very soon, so they have to do like last minute like checkups, inspections, clean up. It's been delayed for a while to open. It was actually supposed to open in January, June. We were hoping, or not we. They were hoping for it to open later to July, but it got delayed again, so. Yeah, opening? I don't know. Opens like this everywhere, but opening a, a restaurant a lot. Pain in the ass. <laughs> like, I heard especially inspections. Like, you just can't, you don't have control over, over it. Like, apparently it takes them forever to get back to you and like you have to schedule and like they kind of do whatever they want so it's really hard to and obviously you can't really open a restaurant without passing the inspection right so from just listening to it, it was I'm, i was so stressed like because seeing Tom stressed his getting you know having the opening date delayed Right now, he's um, going in as general manager. That's why he had to go through all the training with the the owner. If you guys are from Chicago land area, it's a ramen place. And if you guys are from like the West Coast. You guys may, might have heard of uh, ramen called rakan. And it's supposed to have a, a variety of options, like healthier options, which I'm like really excited for. More As much as Tong, I can't wait to find out the opening day so I can freaking go and try, you know? Oh my. It's a lot. But yeah, so you know like Tong and I were on a road trip and we came back because of like he got this job offer and he had to go training all that. So when we came back, we he still had like two, three months where he didn't like besides the training, like he didn't have work to do because you know obviously the restaurant still had to pass certain things before him to do anything. Hmm. Mm-hmm. 
So he was getting so stressed and didn't know what to do. But now the opening day is coming closer. He seems a lot more lively. <laughs> and I'm very excited for him. I feel like his future is very bright. <laughs> and I'm not just saying this because it's my husband. And I'm saying as a person who has seen him over nine, eight, almost nine years. He's such a hard worker. I mean, like, yeah, sometimes he doesn't do shit at home, but <laughs> at work. I know he's great. Whatever he does. Oh my gosh, I'm almost done with the rice. I should go get more. Anyways, it's going to be, they're opening it in Uptown, Chicago. So if you guys live in the area, I help all of you guys visit and say hello. <laughs> Not gonna lie, this is very hard to eat a lot. Um, I think personally, I find it a little too mm, too fishy. <laughs> it's weird, I know, because this is raw and I still find it okay. This one is cooked, and I still find it a little too fishy for me to eat more. This actually reminds me of um, when I went to Puerto Vallarta, like years ago. We were, we were in this like a downtown area. And there was like a you know, beach. And we were walking and you see like a little bridge. Like a little bridge and like people under there and they were like selling rock clams. Hey, I don't get to do this in Chicago. So I ate one and they gave it to me for free. It was, I was fine. I ate it raw and it was very strong, but it was like, whoa, I taste the sea, but like I can't eat more than one because it was a lot bigger. It was like four times bigger than this one of these guys. I slurped that. Slurp it good. <laughs> and this is what that reminds me of, but I can't, that's why I can't eat more.
I mean, it's a little better because I have the spicy sauce on top. But, like, the texture and, like, the flavor, that the kick that you get after, it's kind of like that. So, I can't have too much. Uh, but, I'm not, obviously, I'm not throwing it away. I'm going to figure out how to stir fry it. That's what I always do with the leftovers. This one. I could eat more. Stuff like today where, like, obviously this is a little bit of a fail, but I'm okay. And if I look back, I feel like I grew, like, mentally. Because, you know, like, when I started mukbang and when I was filming and editing and I realized, and then I noticed that, like, this is not good enough, I don't like how it turned out, or etc., etc., I was so, like... It really discouraged me a lot. Like, oh my gosh, like, what am I good at? I'm not even good at this. Why am I doing this? So many thoughts go through my head. My next video that I have to film, like, I will stress hard because I don't want to have another failed video. But I think sometimes failure is good. And... Because it's inevitable, you just kind of have to learn how to, like, move on from it. And I think I'm getting, like, better at that as I get older. Maybe because I fail so much. Oh, my God, there's, like, pepper everywhere. Now, if I was throwing this out, shame on me. I'm not. I'm going to figure something out. And I think my dad would love this. So I'm going to keep some... Some of them like this, and some of them gonna stir fry it. Mm. Uh. Do you guys wanna see my? <laughs> Yikes.